name is Ro. I'm here with my friend Jess. Today we're going to be making plant-based nut burgers. So this is my favorite recipe. Now that we know that we both have a very favorite of nut burgers, we're going to make them for you and show you how to make them. So I think we can get this done in 10 minutes. Um, we're going to use the Vitamix. It has the uh, like engine of a Honda. It's a high speed. It can blend all the nuts. We're going to use two cups of each nut and they're raw nuts. They're not roasted. They're not salted. Almonds, walnuts, cashews, and sunflower seeds. And we're going to use salt and pepper, of course, and cumin, curry, and cayenne. We're also going to use some uh, fresh garlic and fresh onion. Totally. And we're going to be blending all that with a two cups of cooked brown rice. Oh yes, I totally yeah. forgot about the brown rice. Yeah. That's going to act as like a stabilizer to make them patty-like, so they stick together and stick well on the grill if you're going to fry them up. Totally. I'm excited. Let's get started. Okay. Okay, so we blended uh, the sunflower seeds and all the rest of the nuts. Now we just cook the brown rice. We're going to blend the rice with some red onion and garlic. You want to throw those in and we'll just blend them all together. Okay, get ready for this magic of the Vitamix. We have some really nice purple rice now, yeah. onion rice. Nice. And now we're going to mix all of these together with our spices. It's all going to fit in there. Well, we need a big bowl. What's yeah. the biggest bowl you have? Oh, I got a big one. Okay. Right here. here we go. Oh, awesome. Okay. So we're going to throw all of our nuts in here together. And do you want to put um, maybe a tablespoon of each of that? curry and cumin. Yep. Um, and maybe like a half of, of cayenne. I don't know, how spicy do you like? Um, I love everything I love spicy, spicy, so I don't have like a too spicy one. Okay, now I'll let the mixing begin. I didn't put the spices. Okay, well as you throw them in, I'll just continue mixing this. Then you can kind of see the consistency. Oh, okay. Oh, so you don't blend anymore? I don't. I like to just do them this way. Um, when I worked at the restaurant where we made these, we had a is really yeah, a huge mixer that would mix all of this, but we're just going to mm. use our, uh, that makes sense. our big arms today. <laughs> oh yeah, they're getting nice and dense. These are going to make really good patties. Mm. I'm and excited. I like to make many tacos out of this yeah. too. Mm -hmm. You can literally make it into anything. Yeah, like seriously. <laughs> Do you make a sauce for it? Uh, yes. Yeah, so at the restaurant, they make um, kind of a vegan Thousand Island. Right. With vegan uh, mayonnaise, mustard, regular mustard, ketchup, and a little bit of relish, I think, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. It's delicious. But I am not, I actually hate mayonnaise, but I love that sauce. Yeah, same. I really like the sauce. Too, but you know what I was actually thinking? Like huh. pesto. Oh, that would be really yes. good. Yes, I think I'm going to go buy ingredients to make pesto. What do you put in your pesto? Um, basil, pine nuts, or any oh, type I of nuts that I have. There, yeah. And then um, I toast them a little bit in the uh -huh. oven. And then uh, lemon, olive oil, salt and pepper. Am I missing oh, anything? So oh, good. instead of Parmesan cheese, I use nutritional yeast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then it becomes amazing. And then if I have like some leftover herbs, like cilantro or parsley, I'll just throw it in there too. Parsley. Pesto is like anything green, it's just yeah, saucy. seriously. It's amazing. So this is our consistency now. It's um, you know they're pretty pretty burgery consistency. Oh, it's looking awesome. Okay, so maybe we'll just take a chunk out and try to put this into a patty now and we'll have it mixed up nice. And do you have a plate we can throw those onto? Get ready to fry them, or maybe just throw them right into a pan. What do you think? You can um, plate a few. Okay. If you want. Okay, we've got high heat. Let's take our one of our smaller ones. And since it's pretty high, I got, and we didn't even put any oil in here either. No oil because there's enough oil from all the nuts just to be able to fry it up all on its own. So maybe like 90 seconds on one side, I'll flip it over and decide if it needs another flipperoo to the other side again. 